Roman. Roman, where are you? In here. I'm stuck. Let me out. Shit, man. What are you doing in there? I got scared. People started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone. What happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. We can pick up our stuff, and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out. Listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bohem? Oh, you're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. <sighs> Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about getting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classic place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We were a real restaurant. A tavern. It's a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. Not now, but in the dream you've met the right woman. She's beautiful. Pure like my Mallory. In the dream, Mallory and me are married and everything is perfect. This could be the start of it. A fresh beginning. All I know is we have to get as far from the history and Bulgarin as we can. We will. But I have left something important at the apartment. Something I must show you, cousin. What the hell? Holy fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, cousin. Do you know how long it took me to get a place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you! I know you were. I got here and I had nothing! Nobody! I worked my way out from the fucking dirt! set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed. I've been beaten up. I was... Kidnapped and then shot in the stomach! My apartment got burned down and so did my business! Things have been going so great! Just great since you showed up! You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed. Except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait, I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now. And I should be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive. Shut up. Drive. <laughs> hey, beautiful. What's up? No, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. <laughs> Nico's wearing this new cologne. 
<laughs> yeah, trying to impress Michelle or something. They're coming to your cousins. Are you there? Great. See you in a bit. Here. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I have, I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. A beautiful ring. <laughs> now I have nothing. <laughs> Come on. Roman, pull yourself together. You've been here before. Positive, mental attitude. Come on! Mm. At least they want me dead, and not you. <sighs> I do not think it will be much difference to them, Nico. One dead Belik will give them a little bit of happiness while they wait for next. I do not care, though. We are in this situation. We must deal with it. Bring on the Bohan! Okay! Here we are, the beginning of our new lives. Again. 